So please, if you would, put your hands together and make them feel good. The Branding Trio. Yeah. Yeah.
Thank you. 
Good evening. How you guys doing tonight? Yeah. Good? Man, you guys are out late on the Wednesday. <laughs> wow. Oh man, that's Where a good time. time. That's a good time. All right. We're feeling good. We we played the first set and felt really good. And coming out here, uh, I thought we left it all out there, but coming out and feeling your energy is like we hit that second win. <laughs> I'm really feeling good. <laughs> I don't think it's the vodka cranberry. I don't. Think <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm 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 very happy you guys are all here. This is this is awesome energy you guys are bringing. Um, before we continue, I always like to start by introducing these amazing musicians. We've already been introduced to them musically, and what amazing minds they are. Um, but I'd like to introduce you personally. <laughs> <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> That's a point. <laughs> no, um, yeah, they're major goofballs too. <laughs> that's the that's the polite way to say it. Um, yeah, I, I mean, we've been on the road. We just had two days off uh, in the middle of our. We've been on the road doing this Christmas tour, an acting called Christmas tour, and hit a few cities. And the energy so far has just been amazing. But we're so excited to bring it here, kind of bring it home to Chicago because they both live in Chicago. Yeah, and I yeah, absolutely. And I used to live in Chicago. Yeah. Hey. A little less enthusiastic applause. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I love Chicago. And this, even more than New York, this is my favorite place to play because I spent so much time here. I went to school here at Northwestern. And then after I graduated, all right. <laughs> Says the, the, he's from DePaul, though, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it feels like coming home whenever we get to play here because I see so many familiar faces. People who used to see us, you know, back when we were, I was lugging the keyboard down to play a free brunch gig. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah absolutely. We get paid, 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 paid and uh, generous tips from 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 all of y'all. And uh, it's so amazing to be here now and to to be introduced to so many new faces too. So please put your hands together on the drums and cymbals. That's T.J. Thompson. <laughs> Actually on the bass, holding us down, holding us down low. <laughs> <laughs> right, down. Down. Does that mean something? <laughs> uh, from Buffalo, New York, at Stephen Parisi. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we're doing the Nat King Cole thing tonight, of course, but uh, I like to talk about the full breadth of the legacy that is Nat King Cole and try and incorporate it into the programming. So Nat King Cole obviously was a fantastic singer, um, and he left us with an incredible discography, but a lot of people forget that he not only was a pianist, he was one of the the leading pianists of his time, and went on to change the course of jazz piano for good. And uh, and then he also composed, and I like to think about all the people, obviously I've been influenced by uh, Mr. Nat King Cole for, for ever since I first heard him. Um, but we also think of the other great pianist singers, and the first person who really inspired me um, to go into all of this, go into this jazz music and take it really seriously and try and become as good as I can become, 
is uh, Harry Connick Jr. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, so we're gonna we're gonna kind of make our way to Nat King Cole through the course of the night, and we're gonna start with Harry Connick Jr. This is his composition from his first Christmas album called "When My Heart Finds Christmas." songs when you see it coming up on the set list and you're just like, oh yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. 
<laughs> I, I look forward to their time, and, and Stephen always comes up with something, something creative and inspiring to play. So as we make our way to uh, Nat King Cole, uh, uh, we, we talk about people who have been influenced, and of course I have been influenced, and, and um, Nat King Cole composed, a lot of people think he composed a lot of the songs he did, but he didn't compose most of the hits, but he did do a few of them, like Straighten Up and Fly Right, was one of his compositions. So I've been very inspired by him and Harry Connick to start composing some of my own songs. And uh, we actually, if you saw us, well, I guess we didn't play a Christmas show here last year, but if you, if you saw us at the Christmas show last year, we debuted this piece, and now we have it out on all streaming platforms. So if you don't know it, um, you can check it out after. And uh, if you do, this is my composition that we're going to play for you now. This is called Santa's Favorite Place to Go. <laughs> Chicago in the summer. Thank you very much. Stop <laughs> New Orleans in the spring. San Francisco in the fall for all my favorite things. But where to go when Christmas time is here? Where shall I go at such a time of year? Well, I asked friends for suggestions, but little help were they. They shouted out their favorite towns from Seoul to Central Bay. But one little friend I trusted more than they, for he is an elf. <laughs> Drop something over there. Elf, E L F. And had this here to say. New York is Santa's favorite place to go He even tries to catch the rocket show And nothing is as stunning as celestial city lights That flash red, white, and green all through the day and the night New York is Santa's favorite place to go there's parking for his sleigh right in the snow. He never has to worry about the nose or parking fees. Because parking is for free. But when you can drive or call the police, I don't think that he flies around the town. To drop off gifts from those who still believe. New Yorkers are the best. What he's found Cause they all believe like kids on Christmas Eve New York is his favorite place to go As he waves goodbye the burrows down below It's truly pretty gloomy To be behind this place of cheer That's why he makes sure to come back Thank you. 
Especially around the holidays. Um, in fact, somebody just told me after the last show that Mel Torme made more off the Christmas song than all of these other songs combined, which is amazing. So um, that just speaks to the how, how widespread this, this song has gone. And you talk to most people, you ask them their favorite Christmas song, and a lot of them will say the Christmas song. Um, which, it's brilliant, you know. Imagine, imagine naming your song the Christmas song before it's famous, and then it's now the Christmas song. That's, uh, it's pretty brilliant. Oh man, you gotta, you gotta have a lot of uh, guts to do that. But anyway, before we're not playing that song, Brandon. <laughs> got a little sidetracked. As I was doing some deep diving for the show, doing some research, um, I, I stumbled across a lot of lesser-known Nat King Cole holiday tunes. And some of them are really, they're all very beautiful, but some of them are really heartbreaking. And some of them are really just outright goofy. And uh, so I decided, let's just put them all side by side and see what comes out. So that's what they call the medley. And we're going to do that for you now. And uh, you may have noticed there's a microphone there. And if you're here for the first set, it was there then too. But as I said, uh, with, with a guy who makes faces like like the ones that you've seen here. It's a, it's a show the show contract if that microphone gets placed. <laughs> and it luckily it went well last show, so we're going to let him give it another crack. Uh, he's uh, he's going to narrate a little bit of this medley for us. Um, so, this is Nat King Cole Christmas medley. We hope you enjoy these selections. It's in the giving 
So let's give lots of toys for tots. Toys, toys, toys for tots. You can be a Santa if you will lend a hand. Yes, sir, there never will be empty stocking in the land. Some have too many. Some haven't any. Give those who have it, give those who have it. Oh, what a Christmas day. The Marine Reserve will help you. They'll help you fill your sleigh. And with lots and lots of toys for tats. So give a little toy to me. Christmas tree, the more want to buy you, give yourself to me, you'll be worth your weight in precious gifts you see, my little Christmas tree. Love is from the beauty, nobody else is. Little Christmas tree, I'll make you sparkle. Just you wait and see. My little Christmas tree, the more you buy, you give yourself to me. Your worth your weight in
anyone passes by, I put my lights and I went by. Oh, I'm the happiest Christmas tree, Christmas day, wait to see how the laughing happens. Streets he envies all those lucky boys and wanders home to last year's broken toys. I'm so sorry for that laddie, say he. He hasn't got a daddy, the little boy that Santa Claus forgot. Christmas comes but once a year for every girl and boy. The laughter and the joy they find with each brand new toy. I'll tell you of a little boy who lives across the way. His Christmas is just another day. He's the little boy that Santa Claus forgot. And goodness knows he didn't know a lot. In the streets he envies all those lucky boys. Father's home to last year's broken toys. I'm so sorry for that laddie. See, he hasn't got a daddy. The little boy that Santa Claus forgot.
Yeah, that's a pretty one. <laughs> Anyone heard that song? I'm wondering. Anyone? No. Wow. Yeah, I had neither, so. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's it's a heartbreaking one and, and very beautiful, so I'm happy to introduce it to all, all of us. Um, we're going to continue with my favorite Christmas song. This is one that uh, it just doesn't feel right if you don't hear this one, especially the Andy Williams version. This is my favorite. This is called, what is it called? <laughs> the Most Wonderful Time of the Year.
so much. Oh, man. So we're moving kind of back and forth between classics and deep cuts and some originals. We're going to do another original of mine, if that's all right with y'all. All right, thank you, thank you. We would have done it anyway. So. Now, I appreciate the enthusiasm. And now we're, we're excited to do it. Now, this is one that I just wrote. Um, I just wrote a couple weeks before the tour, in fact. So we didn't play this last year, and this is not released anywhere. Uh, we're debuting at this tour. Um, this is a this is a, a very personal piece, I guess. But but I wrote it because I I, I hope that some of you can relate. Um, maybe some of you are, maybe most of you are older than me. Um, but, uh, maybe. I don't mean to assume, but uh, maybe some of you are younger than me too. And, and um, regardless, I, I, I hope that you can harken back to this time of your life. Um, I just turned twenty five a month ago. So, uh, oh my God, Medicare! What's so funny about that? Oh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I, I know it's funny. Um, <laughs> no, but you know, I, 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 at 25, and someone told me this once, a person who was of an older generation than me, they said, you know, in your 20s, it's a tough time. You definitely figure a lot of things out. You know, I don't live at home anymore. I, uh, you're trying to figure out the career and trying to figure out how to do all of that and still do my laundry and, and still go to the gym and, you know, hang out with, with my friends and stuff like that. Now I know um, you're doing your laundry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Not in New York. You know, you know, all hands on deck when you're in New York. Um, but, you know, trying to figure things out in your 20s is, is tricky. And, and I found that as you are doing these things, your, your feelings about things change. And Christmas is no exception. You know, not being at home anymore is kind of an interesting thing. When Santa doesn't come to your home anymore when he used to, uh, that's an interesting thing. Um, so uh, we're going to do this song now. I'll let the song speak for itself. But this is called Christmas to Come. Christmas isn't like it was Thank you. 
the stars for Santa's sleigh On Christmas Day Will that bring the magic back? This next one we've been doing ever since I feel like ever since we started playing together, and it's one we like to joke about. But when it gets down to it, we love to play, and uh, <laughs> which is uh, we love to do both. Um, this is going to feature our drummer TJ up top, and uh, this is uh, this is another Harry Connick tune. And in fact, this is called the Happy Elf. <laughs> Thank you. 
This is my friend TJ, the drum. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire Jack Frost nipping at your nose Your tight cares being sung By a choir and folks Dress up like Eskimos Everybody knows a turkey and some mistletoe helps to make the seasons bright. Tiny times with their eyes on a glow will find it hard to sleep. They know that Santa's on his way. He's loaded lots of toys and goodies on a sleigh. And every mother's child is gonna spy to see if my dear really knows how to fly. So I'm offering a simple place. It's from one to ninety-two. Lord, it's been said many times, many ways. Merry Christmas to you. Featured on actually our upcoming record. I've got a record coming out with these guys in the end of March. So if you want to hear that, definitely join the newsletter on my website, brianane.com, or, or Instagram, or whatever you want to do. Um, but this is one that I think you'll, you'll know. Thank you. 
Yeah, thank you so much for coming out and being with us. I, what is it? Almost eleven on a. On a oh, maybe I should have said that. What? No, but really, it means a lot. Um, you know, we hope we gave you some holiday spirit. It, it's yeah. it's a blessing that we get to do this and kind of be that that aspect that people um, love that live music aspect. So it means a lot to us. Um, please join the newsletter. Find me on Instagram. We're gonna hang out a little bit after the show. I got a few CDs left that that were uh, for sale. So. Grab one of those, but we got a new record coming out. So, one more time, give it up. That's TJ Thompson on the drum. <laughs> Stephen Parisi on the bass. <laughs> wow. Okay. And uh, we're the Brian Ang Trio. Thank you so much. We hope you have a lovely holiday. TJ's going to kick this one off. Thank you for coming. <laughs>